Hey, it's another jamming session with Pat. And Jess. Thanks so much for watching. Now today we're looking at another classic progression. If you haven't checked out our other videos, I'll be linking them down below. But Jess, what is today's progression? Six. Four. One. Five. So what that means is if you're in the key of C major, the chords would be A minor, then you go into F major, then C major, and then G. Excellent. Now, in this one single video, I'm going to show you how to play the chords and how to solo. And at the end, there'll just be us playing and you can practice playing the chords. You can practice soloing. doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an intermediate. We're going to go through all of that stuff. So definitely keep tuning in. Now, Jess, yes. other than the chords, which you could play like this, <laughs> would there be a, a way that a beginner could play these chords as well? What's something you would suggest? So I'd suggest playing uh, the root note mm -hmm. first. So, so you could play an A. A, yeah. yep. Then F, then C, and then G. Or um, chord notes. So any of the notes that are in those chords, just try and hit it on the one. Yeah. So it would really focus on either of those two things. So that's the that's the tab below, and you can see that. We're just going to be playing through those four chords. So if you're just starting out, just practice those four notes. Otherwise, play the four chords with us. Now, if you're somewhere in the middle and you, you can play more than just one single note, but you can't quite play the four chords, that's fine. Try and do a mixture of the two. Try and maybe focus on playing one chord every time. But otherwise, when it gets to the G, for example, play the third fret and the sixth string, and that would be the G note. So it's really up to you, but you can use this video for so many different ways. And if we were soloing, what's some scales that we could use? Uh, we could use C major, C major pentatonic, uh, A minor, and then um, A minor blues. And other than the pentatonic scale, because you might be getting sick of playing a, uh, a minor pentatonic scale or whatever, you might think of it as playing a C major scale, but starting on an A note. So what would that be? Uh, that would be A natural minor. Yeah. It's no good if I just throw all this information, but you can't actually hear how it sounds. So I'm going to show you two different examples. We're just going to play through the progression twice. Well, Jess is going to play through, and I'm going to show you what it sounds like when you're playing a full scale uh, over the progression, and what it sounds like if you're just sticking to one string and you're just playing the root notes. But if you just stick to the first string, and I'll show you the frets, it's going to sound great, and it's still going to seem like you're playing music and you're jamming along with us. So let's check that out. So just two times through the progression. That would be fantastic. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. So just a very quick example, but you can see how even if you're just playing on, on a single string, it's still going to sound really great. It's going to cut through the mix. But if you're playing the full scale, you've got so many different options. So start with one, go to the other. Enough yakking. Let's jam. Okay. Do you want to count it in? Sure. One, two, three, four.
Okay, that's it. Hopefully you had fun. All of that sound click, I'm gonna link it again so you can have another go through if you want. But the idea is just, if you're just starting out, just try and play the root notes. If you wanna start out soloing, just try one string. Otherwise, you've got those scales. I've been Pat. I've been Jess. You've been fantastic for watching. We'll see you all again tomorrow. Have a great one.